when we tell people that we have a vision for 2071, we get laughed at because it's so far into the future that people can't comprehend. It's an understatement to say we're in a time of flux. And the countries that meet the demands of a fast-changing world head-on are the ones that will flourish. The question is, how can we get countries to rethink how they operate? Here in Dubai, they're bringing government and startups together to do just that. This is basically the space where startups and governments work together, and it's really built in a way that allows collaboration and exchange of ideas. Just such a powerhouse of great things coming together. The energy that comes out of that building on a daily basis. You want to get out of bed in the morning. The speed was actually driven by the government and not driven by the private sector. How we operate at the governments, we don't fear change. We go into it, embrace it, and make the best out of it. My name is Faisal Hawi. I'm the director of Accelerators and Incubators at the Dubai Future Foundation. Faisal is part of the next generation of Emiratis who are witnessing the rapid change their country is undergoing. I've seen spaces in Dubai that get built like SimCity. The region is fortunate to have the resources to make meaningful investments in promising ideas. But many places with equal or greater resources don't make those same strategic investments. One of the reasons that Dubai is always at the forefront of technology, innovation and all of that is because we are risk takers. Faisal leads the vision for integrating startups and government. And he has some clear ideas on how best to do it. Okay, so two ingredients that you absolutely need to build a better future is technology and talent. Salam Das, how are you? And we happen to have spaces for both of them here in Area 2071. Area 2071, they have the right kind of mindset and we are the people who are working towards that. You get to work with so many different nationalities and so many different universities and so many different students and companies and you name it, you know, people from different walks of life. Welcome on board. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Dubai has launched programs to entice startups to come and solve pressing public needs, designed to fast track and develop ideas that will help solve some of the country's greatest challenges. We went to N5, a tech hub in the region, to talk to one of them. My name is Alexander Kappas, and I'm the CEO and founder of Greener Crop. Greener Crop is a hydroponic farm management startup that's looking at the deployment of hydroponic farming technology in our region. The UAE is acutely aware of how delicate its food supply is. There are certain things that you can't do when during the summer temperatures rise up to about 45 degrees. That's 113 degrees Fahrenheit, for those wondering. Because of these environmental conditions, the UAE currently imports 90% of its food. By growing inside of warehouses, closed buildings, or greenhouses, hydroponic farming allows us to grow crop regardless of the environment. The main goal is to really be able to produce our own food supply. Innovations like those developed by Greener Crop are possible because of how easy Dubai makes it for startups to set up in the region. The incentives and the infrastructure that was built up has allowed many companies to start setting up farms in a part of the world where farming has never really been a big thing. We reached out to In5, and within a week we had our trade license. So Greener Crop is a perfect example of a startup that's bringing innovation that all the countries are in need with tapping into the food security, answering these problems. That's why we're happy to support these type of businesses. Today, I really look forward to the future. Dubai's focus on supporting startups doesn't stop at agriculture. The Center for Arab Genomic Studies found that 30% of hospital admissions of newborns are due to rare diseases. Now, Dubai Health Authority is working with one startup to address that. You may want to squidge some of this. It's good practice, you know. At P4ML, we focus on rare disease management with a core focus around pregnancy and newborn screening. P4ML's technology is able to screen for rare diseases and get test results back at a rapid speed. It was traditionally taken about 35 days to get a result back from Germany. Once this technology is brought in country, this result will be back to the clinician within 12 hours. No longer 35 days, 12 hours. PJ and P4ML were one of our main success stories in the healthcare sector. They made it so easy for us to pilot our technology. The speed of us to get our pilot study completed, it's unprecedented. They embrace technologies and secure you as a business to make you successful. 
Greener Crop and P4ML are just two examples of a whole constellation of startups that have come to Dubai to help solve big challenges. We are not the largest country in the world. We are not the largest economy in the world, but we do have huge hope. There's an attitude that permeates the place of how can we all work together to put the best ideas in motion. If there's something that you'd like to try, just go for it. Without actually taking that risk, without actually experimenting and trying it, you would never know. The biggest risk is not to take any risk. 